The other important thing is the timing when you eat. Meditation is recommended early morning and before going to sleep. It's a good timing. They do a bulk of your meditation in the morning when you rise and do a little bit at night before you sleep. If you do in the morning, the whole day goes in meditation. If you do at night, the whole sleep is with meditation. It's a good timing. Of course, if your jobs are such that these are not the right timing, you can change time. There is no fixed time at which the Lord is listening more and at other times he shut his ears. He open ear all the time for prayer and meditation. All times are equally good. But if you do, suppose you have to do two and a half hours. You can do two hours in the morning, half an hour at night. Supposing you want to do one hour, half an hour in the morning, half an hour at night. Supposing you want to do five minutes, five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night. But if these are two times when it's most effective. Since you do meditation at night also, the dinner should be much lighter than is being taken now. So the evening meal should be lighter. And that will make a difference in your meditation. And I am, I am telling you these things not from books. I am telling you from my own personal experience. My personal, I, I was very overweight. I became very fat one time. I was uh, overeating because in India, if you visit somebody, they think it's a necessary hospitality to offer you something to eat. So if I visit three places, I eat three dinners. <laughs> so, and somehow, this tradition was brought by some of my friends from the United States who went to India and they started doing the same thing here. So I was overeating. Now, I can't say no to them, but I can try to make the portion as small as possible. So I, I was able to uh, control some of my overeating by that. Made a difference in meditation. What I am telling you is not based upon one or two years experience. It's over a whole lifespan. When you turn over, when you are older than 90 years, you are not looking at a great time ahead. You are looking back. How did you pass these 90 years? You passed through ups and downs. You passed through many kind of phases. So it's by recollection I can tell you how these things helped me. And I'm sharing these. They might help you also. So these are some of the important things about diet, eating less, 